Cool, so here are three neat tapping licks. All right, the first one I'm gonna go through is this. All right, now I'm thinking about this in my A minor pentatonic scale. Got my jumping off point. On the third string, and I bend up, and I hit, and then I tap on, and now my third finger is on the seventh fret. Bend up, hit the tenth fret, pull off, twelfth fret, my bow point tapping in, fourteenth fret, and I go back down, twelfth fret, tenth fret, then I pull off my seventh fret to my fifth fret with my where my first finger is. Okay, so that is tenth fret, twelfth fret, fourteenth, twelfth, tenth, right there. All right. Now what's kind of neat about this is that when I bend up. The note that I'm actually tapping is not the same fret that I'm hitting, okay? Since I'm bending up a whole step, the note that my third string is hearing is on the ninth fret. So now when I tap the note on the tenth fret, I'm actually hearing the note that's on the twelfth fret. Same thing, when I tap the twelfth fret, I'm actually hearing the note that's on the fourteenth fret. And when I'm tapping the fourteenth fret, on the note that's on the 16th fret. All right, now if I remove that to the key of C minor, I'd be bending up on my third third string, this time I'm on the 10th fret, right where my uh, pentatonic scale lies. Going up three frets is a good place to kind of think about where I start tapping that so that I can kind of choose any key that I'm doing that in. Three frets, go two, 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 back two. That'll kind of always work no matter what, what key you're in. G, three. Those notes will always be in the scale. Kind of neat. All right, now the second lick is this. All right, again, I'm thinking about an A minor, pentatonic. Now I'm thinking about my first and pinky on the second string, and I'm going to be tapping on my 10th fret second string, letting go to my first finger, and then hammering on my fourth finger right there. So just like that, tap, first, four, tap, first, four. That's kind of the basis of it. All I have to do now is just move my second finger, or my left hand, down one fret. So using, I'm still leaving the same amount of space between my first finger and my pinky. Back down one more fret. Back down one more fret. All right, minor pentatonic. Back down one, one more fret, one more fret. Now what's kind of neat about this is that I'm starting on my minor pentatonic, and then I'm moving down. When I finally get up here, I'm actually playing the same notes as an A major chord. A, C sharp, E. A, C sharp, E. Kind of neat. All right. So now if we remove that anywhere else, like C minor again, minor pentatonic, second string, two frets higher than where my pinky is on the second string. Move down one fret. Two frets, three frets, and then major chord. C, E, G. C, G. All right, kind of neat. All right, now the, the last lick is this one. All right, now speaking of major chords, that's exactly what we're playing here. Whatever note our string is open, we plug in this pattern, we'll be playing in will to be playing the major chord. So this one, I'm going with the 12th fret, and then tapping to open. 12th fret, open. 4th fret on my left hand, 7th fret with my pinky. Tap, open. 4th fret, 7th fret. So now since I'm on the 6th string, my 6th string open is E. That's going to be an E major chord. I'm going to do the same pattern with this string, 12th fret, open, 4th, 7th. Well, I just said an A chord, A, C sharp, E, A, A, C sharp, E, A, A, C sharp, E. 
fourth string is D open. Third string is G. Second string is B. First string is E. All right, now to make a minor chord, all I have to do is move my first finger back to the third fret, and my pinky still stays in the seventh fret. So E minor. So kind of neat, three tapping lists to kind of get us going on uh, kind of plugging in our tapping into our normal everyday playing.